Lovely. Well, it looks well, like you're in uh, in CBGBs over there. Uh, yeah. And got some underground uh, music happening. I'm at my friend's house, who's a musician, and this is a painting of him with Dave Grohl and Josh Homme. <laughs> so that's so it is kind of like CB. He's played there, so it is a little bit like when it was around. <laughs> um, what a powerful movie! First of all, it, incredible, oh, and you. so well done. I all everything is well done about it, and just I think a testament to your your talent as a writer to make a story that could be many stories that could be so complex, but be able to just like craft it and simplify it and make it work beautifully together. It's just a, it's a beautiful thing when you see something to me, when you see something like that, it just makes me happy first of all that it exists. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, Thank you. But such a powerful movie. And what made you want to focus on the op opi opioid <laughs> crisis that we have? I mean, it's so timely. So, yeah, um, well, I had uh, a personal experience where I had some friends who got in trouble with opioids. It's, you know, I think uh, we, we all have, unfortunately, yeah. known people with substance issues. And um, it's exploded in the last five or 10 years. And I just thought not so much was known about it. I didn't know very much about it myself. So I always start with research. I hooked up with these reporters at the Los Angeles Times, and they really walked me through how it worked, um, you know, how drugs had been uh, created in, in labs and research facilities, um, and they had great purposes, but maybe they got mispurposed or maybe safeguards were taken off. And then ultimately, you know, people were getting addicted to these drugs or doctors were pushing them in record numbers. There was this idea of the pill mill, uh, a scheme yeah. where uh, people go in and get false prescriptions so that drugs can be sold on the street. And I thought, you know, isn't this something wonderful to follow for the public to learn about um, how the role of money, uh, you know, kind of can corrupt. Uh, it, this should be a great thing, a medicine that helps people, but all of a sudden there's a profit motive and now corporations are taking safeguards off and drugs are getting diverted to the street and people are using them and they're creating chaos in their lives. So I thought, okay, let's take that. And I love those movies like Traffic, yeah. uh, 21 Grams, LA Confidential. You know, they look at things from different viewpoints, different characters. I love actors. So the opportunity to play with Gary Oldman and Greg Kinnear, Evangeline Lilly, Michelle Rodriguez, Luke Evans, all these wonderful, Lily Depp, all these wonderful uh, actors appealed to me. And so I thought, okay, let's put this into a stew and, and see how we brew it. Um, I love that, yeah, the actor, it, it, it's kind of crazy, the actor, in all your movies, but I think it's also a testament to you that I feel like you're one of the directors that people truly, they like see you're, you're, you're making something and want to work with you because you watch it and just actor after actor, you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like everybody in it is an amazing, even like the, like Lily Rose Depp is amazing. And I'm so glad she was in this. Everybody's incredible in it. Um, I love it too. Cause I didn't even think like Gary Oldman's character um, is doing research on this drug and he works in university. I didn't even think about that part of the equation when it comes to drugs and to pharmacies. I never even like that. I never even rent, entered my mind. So I love that. Well, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I love Chinatown, you know, that's one of my favorite oh, I movies. Love movie. And um, there was a, a, you know, a scene from the script that actually got cut. I read in the Academy library where uh, Nicholson comes in and he looks down at the, the tap and he's, you know, uh, Faye Dunaway says to him, what? And he says, you know, before I just thought you just turn the tap, it comes out. That's all I knew. Right. And it's a whole movie about water conspiracies and stealing yeah. water. And so here's kind of the same thing. You think, you know, well, what is, uh, you know, you got a problem and you take an aspirin, you know, you never really think about where it comes from or why. So this whole idea of going deep into the pharmaceutical industry and seeing Gary Oldman is a biologist and he works in a lab and they test drugs and the company needs a certification to get this onto the shelf. And what's at stake? Billions. And what what does he see? Does he see an anomaly? To, so get I felt like that's something that could captivate the public's imagination and it's all totally true it's all based on real stuff yeah. I went to those labs I went researched the thing I had great advisors you know and uh, it's all how it works and it is fascinating you know because uh, obviously pharmaceuticals have the potential to be life-saving um, you know and I, I've had relatives with cancer or whatever and they're still here because of pharmaceuticals but you know we have hundreds of thousands dead from the misapplication of pain medication um, and that's really just something we've kind of failed at as a society to properly control. I think people are waking up to that now. Um, and I think we're seeing accountability being brought, you know, 
Uh, but I thought it would be great for a thriller, you know, in the same way that Michael Clayton kind of explores some corporate culture corruption. Um, I love those movies. It's what we try to do a bit in arbitrage. And, yeah. and here we train the lens on public health. I, I just, it's so fascinating. It, it does make you think about all these different aspects. Cause like you said, I think everybody, unfortunately nowadays, everybody has, does know somebody directly or maybe through someone else that has been affected by opioids and it, it's it got increasingly worse and it, it's so troublesome. Um, I know I have to wrap up, but very quickly, if you could, cause I, I imagine the research of this had to be insane. Was there like a specific part of researching all of this that was, that, could, that really stood out to you or was very significant to you in writing this? Yeah, well, I had a wonderful advisor, um, Steve Ockerman. He was a retired LA sheriff um, who had run the Narcotics Prescription Task Force. So a lot of the stuff, the gangster stuff you see in the movie is based on real events real people, uh, cartels that he took down. So we went to the pill mills, we met the undercovers, we went and saw all the guns and all the, all the pill presses. I mean, we built a whole illicit lab in this movie. I remember because my production designer said to me, they're like, you know, we're short of money for another set. Can't we just turn these machines on and make a few fentanyl pills? We could sell them. I said, unfortunately, <laughs> we can't do that. We love the money. Uh, we don't want to kill a whole bunch of people. Um, but, you know, that was all thorough. We had the real stuff, the real places, and all of the science, uh, you know, was all thorough as well, where we went into the universities. We went into labs. We built our own labs. We built all of these devices. And we even went as far as, you know, getting consultants from who had interacted with the FDA. So uh, I think, you know, you hopefully feel the authenticity. Yeah. And it's not, uh, you know, it's presented still as a thriller. We, we never want to be didactic. We always want to entertain you first and it's make you think. Really I mean, it's super entertaining and I just loved it so much and I can't wait for it to come out because it, it's truly like every part. And I read that your production and designer was for, did enter the void with genius getting that guy. Um, but um, very rarely, you know, are there movies that everything is well done. And I really watching this, I was entertained, I was touched. And it was just beautiful. I just thought it was beautiful how it just all works together. And I just loved it so much. And thank you for making it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, I think it's a testament to the actors. You know, they really bring very emotional performances. We shoot on a 35 millimeter film and I like to go in close on the faces. You know, there's a lot of information in this movie, a lot of science, but at the same time, I think, you know, you see the performances of Lily Depp or Evangeline yeah. or whoever, um, you know, they break your heart and, uh, and being in close there on the face, I think gets you inside the character and, and gives you that psychological connection. So thank you for watching it. Oh and uh, hopefully I get to come over and jam with you sometime there. Anytime you want. I'm at Water Village. Anytime you want. Okay. All <laughs> um, right, cool. Evangeline made me cry, by the way. Amazing performance. Me too. Uh, amazing film. But um, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas. Happy Pleasure talking to you. You too. Thank you.